Hey there, it's me, Jackson, from Ace Company. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to service these bad boy Ace Company Merlins. Stay tuned. Do, 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 do. Nah, seriously though. So to service these Ace Company Merlins, you've got a little uh, screw down here. Kind of unscrew that, the bell comes off. It's all hunky-dory though. We put a lot of thread lock on the screw so that it won't come out because of vibrations or the way the motor spins in the air. Um, so it can be really hard to get the screw out without a bit of assistance or without um, stripping the head of the screw. Uh, so I'm gonna show you a technique you can use not only on this motor, but other motors that have ridiculously tight screws on them. Um, I'll show you a technique on how to unscrew them without uh, stripping the head or damaging the screw at all. Let's go. What we use is this trusty soldering iron. Shh, stay away, it's hot. What you have to do with these is you take the soldering iron, you chuck it on the screw there, and it'll heat up the thread lock, melt it a little bit, and you can unscrew it pretty easily. So you've got to be quick because the heat disperses uh, quite quickly. Let's go. <gasps> you've got to hold it on there for a little while, maybe 15 seconds, I'd say. Hold it, keep going. Keep trying to make small talk with the camera. Uh, then put the iron aside, grab your trusty screwdriver, and then try go for a couple of turns. Ends up getting quite tight again, so you just need to keep doing this um, until basically the screw is all the way out. You don't want to force the screw too much because again you're going to strip the head of the screw. You just got to keep applying heat, uh, then jump on the driver, unscrew it a little bit and repeat until the screw is out. And after a little while um, you can actually touch the screw in there without it being hot. Let's see. Nah, just kidding, it's cold now. Let's go. See, it's getting a little bit stiff now and then. So chuck some more on, let the screw heat up, melt some thread lock. Here we go. The moment of truth. Put it down there like that. And you've also got a little washer in here. Let's get rid of that, put it in a safe place. You don't want to lose that. Nah, uh, there we go. The old mate the screw is out, ready to take the bell off. These magnets are strong, so, ah! Okay, be careful here, you might jam your, your fingers. Ooh, ooh! Let me chuck old mate washer back on, grab the screw. You can put more thread lock on them if you want to, uh, but I don't have any on hand right now, so I'm just gonna whip it back in there. You just screw it in, and then when it starts getting tight again, you wanna bring it back out, just to kind of like even out the thread lock. You're like a DJ, you go. I don't like that, that was dumb, but we'll keep it in the video, all right? <laughs> Boom, beautiful. Tighten it up, tight, but not too tight, okay? That's the number one rule. If you do it too tight, it doesn't want to spin. If you do it too loose, the bell will come off. You heard it here first. Use a soldering iron on your motor screw to loosen it off. Sounds crazy, but it's legit and it works.